I was born at the entrance or the entrance north. My grandparents came from the entrance. And then how long have you been doing this for? Playing netball myself and having my children involved, I would say about 50 years. <laughs> and how long are you going to keep going for? Well, I don't know. I guess one time a day I'll have to retire, but I do look around Nepal, New South Wales and a lot of other associations and there's a lot of people, a lot older than me, still very involved in Nepal and I think that's what the community family is for Nepal. I think Nepal out here at Wyong is a positive influence on young girls. They can start playing at a young age. As they get a little bit older, they can develop umpiring. They can then go into coaching. And I think it gives them leadership qualities as well because sometimes they have to take direction, sometimes they have to be disciplined, get them off their phones, get them off their iPads and get out here in the sunshine enjoying sport. I enjoy volunteering, I've volunteered all my life and I enjoy the friendships and I enjoy the challenges that we have sometimes, I enjoy coaching, umpiring. I'm tough but fair. Um, I believe that everybody should have a fair go and everybody should be developed. I don't believe it's all about the winning. I believe it's how you play the game. A couple of us arrive about 6.30 in the morning and arrive, leave about 5.30 at night. During the day, we probably have about 7,000 people go through here, probably around 1,000 an hour. Time your parking space, you've got to be here early. I think netball keeps me feeling younger because I'm out here, I'm exercising and it keeps my mind active as well. Unfortunately though when I umpire, especially a game of Division 1 netball, I do feel it the next day when I can hardly walk. <laughs>